In this video, I will give you the demo of the application that we will be working on on this entire course. It is a full stack application and it will have a lot of features. We will use React and Next.js version 15. And this is a blogging platform where users can create blogs and other users can explore and read their blogs. It is something similar to Medium or Dev.2. We have both the light and the dark mode. We will be working on real-time notification by making use of Socket.io. We have a user profile here. When we click, it gives us a drop-down menu to go to the profile, to create a post, we can go to bookmarks and if we are admin, we'll have this admin. So we'll work on role based uh, users where you have no more users and admins. And also we'll be working on an authentication system. So you can see we have sign out here. We'll explore it later on. And then we have some tags here at the top. We can use these tags to filter our blogs. And then right here, we have the list of the blogs. And if I scroll at the very bottom, you'll notice that we have next. This next simply takes us to the next page, meaning that we have pagination for this particular list. And if you check at the URL, we have one here, meaning that we are on the first page. If I click on next, that will update our URL to two. This is the second page. We will be using Next.js for this, meaning that our content will be rendered on the server. And rendering the content on the server is so important. It's SEO friendly and our pages loads fast. If I click Next.js right here, you'll notice that this will filter down our content to only have posts that have Next.js tag in them. And if you check at the URL, you'll notice that we have tag as Next.js. We can combine filters with the search. So if I come right here and I say e hyphen commerce, you'll notice that that will filter down to the content that have a title with e-commerce and also tag as Next.js. And if you check at the URL again, it updated tag as Next.js and title as e-com. If we want to clear the filters, click on this here and that will remove the tag and also it will remove the search. So all will give us all the posts. So how do we get to create a post? If I come right here, I can click on create post and this will get us to our blog editor. This is a very strong editor as you'll see soon. First of all, we can be able to add a cover image. I can select this one, open and that will upload the image. Once it's uploaded, it will show up right here. And the cool thing is that once I hover, we can remove this image or even change it. So let's try to change and it will bring us back here and I can select again and open. So after some time, it's uploaded. We can have a blog title. We can select the tags. Remember these tags will be helpful in filtering. So man is React and Node.js, Express and MongoDB. So I can select the three. I don't have MongoDB right here. And then we will have a rich text editor which uses blocks. This is something similar to Notion. If I use a forward slash, you'll notice that we get the different options here. We have heading, number list, bullet. We can add code blocks. We can add paragraphs. We can even add images and emojis, which is cool. So in this case, let's add a heading three. Just type something. So the next one, if I say forward slash, I can select the different option from here and I go with a numbered list. I can say one, two, three. Another cool feature, if I get to highlight, you'll see we have options to format the text we can underline, we can change the color to red, we can strike through, we can make it italic, we can make it bold, we can try to add a block of code here. So let's click on code block and look from here we can select JavaScript, we can select HTML, we can select CSS. So let's try to write some HTML code. Look, it's formatted nicely. We can say it's HTML, which is cool. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and publish your blog. 
or you can save it as a draft. Once you save it as a draft, it will not show up on the main feed, but it will be available on your profile in case you want to edit it. So let's save it as a draft. I can go back to the main feed here. And from the main feed, we will not see it even if I happen to refresh. But if I go to the profile, we will see it. So let's go to the profile and look, we have it right here. Deploy man, it's draft and we can be able to edit. And look, from the profile, we'll also be adding pagination. And you can see it from the URL. We have one at the end here. I can click on edit and we get to edit this post. We can come ahead, either delete the post or we can get to publish it. Once we publish the post and we go back to the profile, you'll see it is no longer marked as draft. And if we go back to the homepage here, you'll notice that it is added at our main feed. Another feature that we will work on is if we click on the title here, we get to this post and you'll notice that we can add reactions to the post. We can crop, we can mark it as a bookmark to read it later or if we didn't want to lose it. And if I scroll at the bottom here, you'll notice that we'll have a comment section. Let's just say hello and we submit. Once we submit, that comment will show at the bottom here. And you can see for a single comment, we can crop, we can add a reply to it and we say, hey, I submit and that, okay, we have a strong validation going on on our form, which is cool. So let's just make sure that it's a longer comment. And if I click on here replies, we get the reply here, hey, and we get to mention the person that we are replying to. We'll also be sending notification to the person that we replied to. Now right here, we are the owner of the blog. So that means that we are not sending notification to ourselves, okay? So what we could do is to log in as a different user and we see notifications happen in real time. So now here I am logged in as a different user and here we are still on the previous user. So these are two browsers. Now I'll click on this particular blog and I can leave a comment and I go ahead and submit that that will be added at our comments. And look, immediately, this user, because they are the creator of this blog post, they get a notification about a new comment. It happened in real time. That means that you will learn about Socket IO in this course. And if I click on this, you'll see just Charles commented on your blog post, deploy man. And if I click on this, that will open that post and it will take us to the comment section and we'll get to see just Charles a few seconds ago added a new comment. I can reply to this one and I can say thank you. And I go ahead and submit that. And once I submit, just Charles immediately gets a notification. Ciao Charles replied to your comment on nice post. Very nice. If I click on that, that will open this post and take us to the comment section where I had added that comment. And I can read the replies now and I can see Charles replied a few seconds ago to me and said thank you. We'll only have one level of reply but at least we are mentioning the user whom we are replying to. So this is something similar to the YouTube's comment section. If you are the creator of the comment, you can be able to delete that comment. And once you delete the comment, it will delete together with its reprise. So you learn how to do that. Another feature that we had mentioned is the bookmark. So if I go to the bookmarks here, I can be able to see the posts that I have bookmarked. Another feature now that we can explore is the authentication feature. We will be working on a strong authentication system. So let's sign out. And once I sign out, you can see from the look, we have a form for logging in with the email and password. And we also have social logins, GitHub or Google. We'll make use of NextAuth version 5, which currently is the latest version of NextAuth. When working on the form, you'll learn how to create reusable components and also 
how you can perform form validation using react hook form and zod so right now if i just try to log in you'll notice that we have a strong validation going on let's go to register here and we will create a user email should be a valid email because we will be validating this email by sending a verification link to it so i will use a valid email strong password and you confirm the password register once i register it takes some time and you will see verification email sent now we will get an email like this one and we need to click here to verify the email so i'll go ahead and click that and this will load our web page and amazingly you'll notice here we have a token that will be used to verify the email and now you can see email verified and i can go and log in here once we go to the login page you'll notice that we also have forget password meaning that we can also send a link to reset the password so let's try this one i will send the email and again i'll get an email like this click here to reset your password if i click on this this now will open for me a page where i can reset the password so we'll have password and we confirm password and we save the new password and by using this token it will know the user whom we are resetting password for so not everyone who can reset password you can come to this page but the token if it's wrong you'll not be able to reset the password very nice so let's just go ahead and log in back to our system using now the verified email we already verified by clicking the link i'll go ahead and log in with email and password and now we are logged in as a different user and we can go to the profile from the profile we can see the email here we can see the id we can see that uh, we have zero followers, zero users, and no posts. We can be able to edit a profile, guys. And from here, you can see we can add a bio. We can select the different tags that I am interested in. Then we save changes. Now, if I come back to the profile here, you'll notice that our bio was updated and we have the tags here. And if I click on React, that will add that filter on our url and show us posts that are related to react i can go back to the profile again and if i click on edit if we logged in with email and password we will also be able to update the email and if you use a new email we'll also need to verify that so we'll send a verification email to it and we also have a danger zone where we get to delete our account deleting the account will delete everything related to the account including posts, clubs, bookmarks, and so on. Another cool thing that we will do on our application is that we will be able to follow users and unfollow them. Let's try to follow this user here. So I can click on Charles and we follow the user. So I click follow. And once we follow this user, they'll automatically get a notification that we followed them. Peter followed you. If I click on this, this will take us to the profile for the person who followed us. And we can see their profile and we can happen to follow them back. Once we follow them back, you can see Peter also gets a real-time notification and they'll see Chow Charles followed you. Another cool feature is that you can happen to explore other users' followers. So you can see this user follows Charles, Peter, and Charles K. We can explore these users' profiles. Let's go to just Charles. And we see this is their profile. Very nice. We can see also the people that they are following. So we'll be creating these pop-ups and so on. So this is very, very cool. We will also work on raw based users where we have normal users and admins. And for admins, it will just be a simple example so that you know and understand how to add admins to the system. And if I come right here, you'll see that we have an admin dashboard where we can show a few stats about the system. Another thing that we'll do is allow admins to delete any posts in our system. Uh, we can go to this post. We are not the one who created this post, but we will be able to edit this post right here. And 
once we scroll at the bottom we can be able to delete a post that we have not created because we are admin users but uh, i think we could block publishing the post or uh, saving changes to this post so that admins don't manipulate the content and all they can do is to either delete or block that content and yeah it will just be a simple example to show you how to add admins to the system in case you want to implement that feature